Every day you think that it's going to get easier, but it doesn't get easier. It's been five months and still no answers for Josephine Thompson. Because you know every day that he's never coming home. Never. She says her grandson was just dropping his cousin off for the night, standing in the front lawn, visiting with kids from the home across the street from Cunningham Elementary School when someone driving by opened fire. Johnny didn't drop. He, he ran for shelter, and that's, that's how he caught the bullets. Thompson believes one of the people he was with used to be involved with gangs, and this shooting may be a form of retaliation for leaving the gang. But she says Johnny was an innocent bystander. I never thought that I would ever lose a child to something like this or a grandchild. Turlock police can't confirm that this was a gang-related shooting, and they tell us they're not getting enough information to make an arrest. That's why the family is now offering a $10,000 reward through Crime Stoppers for anyone with information leading to an arrest and conviction. There is going to be some justice to this. I think that we need the time to finish getting it all together. The help of the public would certainly help for it to... Uh, happen much quicker. Desperately searching for answers, Thompson has a message for all other parents in the community. Well, you need to teach your children to be aware of your surroundings. You need to be, uh, they need to be aware of who their friends are and what they're involved in and who they socialize with and they need to know how to drop, you know, when they hear gunshots. It needs to become an automatic reflex for them.